um, and doing window returns at work, so I figured I'd just share that with you. Um, it's, you know, there's quite a few of them to do throughout this building, but uh, window returns are like, uh, these, these ones are drywall window returns, so you can see they're gonna be uh, taped finish into the, into the top of the window. So you see up there. Um, so I wanted to kind of show you guys, like you wanna have like an even, an even reveal around between the drywall um, and the end of the mullion, this is the window frame, right? The window mullion, the, the aluminum frame. Uh, you want to kind of have an even gap between your, your drywall finish and the end all the way around if you can. Um, but you're not always going to win. The tools you're going to need for the job is a cordless router, your drywall gun with your... Since it's going into plywood, inch and a quarter regular screws. Tape measure, just you know, your 25 inch from regular tape, and your knife. 100% you're gonna need a rasp for this, for the edges, okay? And that's it. So the objective is to get the corner bead and the tearaway onto the return properly, okay? The tearaway itself, okay, has three sides. Okay, it has a long side here that goes along the drywall. This, this longer edge goes inside of the drywall itself. And then this edge here actually tears away, hence the name tear away, after the tape is on the mud. So this is why we leave a quarter inch gap. So it can go in tight, right? And then the taper muds it. So you have tearaway on the inside and your corner on the end. See that's how that finishes. <clears throat> okay, so the tearaway finishes into the mullion like that. So that, that's just like a place for the mud to go. So you have a straight finish, plus it gives you a hard edge finish, right? That plastic in there for extra strength. And same with the corner bead, right? That's why we take our corners back as well, okay? I like to be quarter inch, quarter inch myself. Um, all the way on my corners and a quarter inch on the mullion for the tearaway. Okay, three eighths is acceptable, half inch is too much. Okay, so you're gonna get a half inch, five eighths is too much. The corner bead has the aluminum on the inside for a nice hard corner and it's got the paper uh, on the ends. Uh, a lot of times you can spray glue this stuff, right? Spray glue, uh, when you're using spray glue, you spray the drywall and the tearaway or the corner, whatever you're setting and then uh, let it uh, tack up, and then, yeah, just pinch it on. But we're, uh, we're drywalling today, so yeah, again, corners, that's what I mean. Corner bead and the tear away, just like that. Voila, all right, so then the finish at the end. <clears throat> right, the finish at the end is like a nice fine line, and it's a plastic line. Right, so um, even even like it's not doesn't look good when it's tied up against, right? It's nice when it's off just a little bit like that, you know, like a hair off. So leave them, leave your taper room, all right? And if you're taping yourself, you'll highly appreciate it. So uh, yeah, window returns. You see how the drywall is run wild past the plywood? It normally you'd like to have more than that, but like four inches, four to six inches is really nice to have so that you can snap it back easy. But the plywood went in after, so you have to like, that's why the, the drywallers ran it wild at first, um, is so that the, the carpenters uh, can come in, put the plywood, and then we could drywall it. And you know, we wouldn't have like a, a gap or anything, right? Like a, a misjudgment of elevation, right? Cutting my strips and I'm rasping both sides Okay, both sides of my thing, so when I snap it, I'm gonna use my rasp, okay? And rasp it nice and smooth, both sides, both sides. Okay, so now I've back cut it with my knife, like this, right? Back in here, and I've slightly, I've gone on a slight angle, okay, and that's for the corner bead. So then you just go gently snap it up. Right, and it comes up and then you just cut it off. And sometimes you can't back cut everything, sometimes it's really tight, 
and when you're routering drywall on drywall it's a little tough so get a piece of steel and use it as a guide so you see that there you, you simply just as simple as that use your get something of steel and use it as a guide for your router your router bit and you're good to go okay so a couple last minute things just so before you you know you go make sure you keep the screws um where the mullions uh meet here in the middle at the top away okay from the joints a little bit say like six four to six inches either side um also keep your spacing screws um in the in a in a in a return like six to eight inches apart uh sometimes like uh at the top you see i go a little closer uh, depending on how uh, well the plywood is done, okay? So that's the spacing and safety glasses, guys. Uh, you'll need these when you do window returns. Always have your safety glasses. It's your number one uh, PPE requirement for doing window returns, okay? Because there's a lot of work above your head, so make sure you have the safety glasses. All right, guys, that's good. Okay, that's how you drywall window returns properly. I hope you guys learned something. If you're new to Chris Conkle Vlogs, make sure you subscribe right down below. YouTube thinks you might like this video right there, so give it a watch. I put another playlist down there below for you guys. Join me every Sunday when I go live, okay? So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss when I go live every single Sunday morning. This is Chris, everyone. Bye for now.